老了，年纪都穿，难上岁来。一读老言辞，飞到人家去，叫我老言辞上，流失家当，天天叫我离火去。过了昨天，当作变种。小人不了，老人不为。您又完了？我没有来。又来。去讲去讲。老人自强，了事家当，天天在我里服侍。哎，这好子真的比这个好。也不矮。你看好的了，这个都不一样啊。那个那个那个好，那个。不要东西，不要东西。那好极了。不要不要。那我且我也很很有一点东西给你，还有好的东西给你看看，看一看好吧。Until I come back. Have been bombed. Medicine. Things we need. Ducks, cane, flick, and cement. Not bothered. Lazio. Good name. The leak is there. We sent two men. They both dead. We have in mind to send a woman. You will leave. After you dismiss class this afternoon, you will be a teacher assigned to checking school supplies. The proper credential will be issued. Thank you.
I'll tell them, follow me. Yankee Doodle Crunch. Ling, stop it. Chongwa. Now, once again. Yankee Doodle Crunch. Oh, right, I will look for me. Come here.
snappy, will you, Mom? Behind schedule now. Quit running around all by yourself. I hurry, I hurry. I come as quickly as I can. You always call to me when I'm busy. You see? I hurry, I hurry, I hurry as quickly as I can. Oh. You are afraid someone will steal it? Well, I'm not taking any chances. You may go, Sir Raja. Uh, your credentials are all in order, sir? Thank you. Can my servant help? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, step in, please. The front seats are the most comfortable. Ma! You are Miss Lucy Dell, daughter of Dr. Anthony Dell in Chunking? Yes. Very pretty. Very pretty. You know, look like your father. Your papers are all in order. You may go. Thank you. Checking on school supplies. We need guns, tanks, planes. And you worry about supplies. Do enter. My paper's in order, too. Oh, excuse me, please, Mr. Whitby. Uh, you are traffic experts from America? Yes. I suppose they know what they are doing in Chunking. You know, look expert to me. <laughs> Ma, if you don't let me get out of here, chop, chop, I'm going to put ground glass in your eyes. You may go. Thank you. My paper's okay. Why do you want to be transferred to Chunking? I want to go to big city for a change. Need mechanic there, too. Mechanic needed on the road, not in big city. Uh, no sing song girl here, yeah? eh? Ma sing sing for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Ma! Here's your transfer. What are you standing around for? You waste time. Get going. Chop up, you lazy loser. Quickly go. Going all the way to Chunking? Yes, with the staff of in Kunming to check school supplies. You know, young Chinese keep on learning, even in the war. It's very commendable. The driver's making good speed. I'm glad. I've been quite worried about my father, that bombing in Chunking. Yes, I know about it. He's done a magnificent job, like all the volunteers. They've helped keep China alive. Now, China will help keep us alive, that wonderful, stubborn purpose of theirs. Yes. I can see it in that Chinese woman's face. I speak all languages, but I do not move over. You let your head get so big and that Turkish style don't fit you no more. Well, you handle this boss pretty good. I say you have... I heard what you said. Go on. We're making a stop here. Close out ahead. Where are we? 
Bunk Oh, yeah. It's kind of a hotel now. Hot and cold running bunch. All right, all out, folks. Well, I suppose we're marooned here. Oh, it won't be so bad. It's not the last word in hotels, but at least we'll find food and shelter there. Food and shelter. Beautiful words. <laughs> Welcome to Tang Fu. Our poor place is honored. Your place is most welcome. Please, come inside. Thank you. We haven't much to offer you, my friend, but it will be hot food and plentiful. Okay, start putting it on the table. Perhaps you would all like to watch? What for? Thank you. Please. You're looking for me? I'm afraid I'm lost. Permit me to show you the way. You see? The others are waiting for us, ready for their humble meal. Please start, my children. Thank you, my friend. Where is the driver? Well, he's still working on his motor. It's quite a job to service one of those buses. And that motor means more to him than food. To me, that don't make sense. What well, do you suppose happened? Some baboon stole my distributor. Your distributor? Yeah, I tried to start the bus to put it in the shed and found out somebody would swiped it. Well, if we don't find another one, this is going to be home sweet home. First the bridge washes out, and now the distributor's missing. What are you worrying, my friend? The food is hot, plentiful, and good. Hey, what do we got for dessert, huh? We gotta get out of here. Don't worry, Peter's good mechanic. You fix up something. Sure, if you can find any time between meals.
guess I'll go take a look around. Perhaps we better finish our dinner. What is more important than prayer? Well, you know. the bits. The trucks, the men, everybody. There's not enough left of them out there to make it cheap. They knew exactly where to bomb. They couldn't have done it any better in the daytime. They had the exact spot at the exact time. I got my hands on the guy that gave him that information. I put him in a meat grinder and make a hamburger out of him. Somebody fooled you. I'll go back to sleep. Thank you, my friend. Those drivers are a great loss to China. But it would have been worse if they bombed the next convoy. What's that you say? The next convoy? Yes. Yeah. The next convoy is the one Chung King is waiting for. Medicine. Munitions, precious instruments. So perhaps it's just as well. Yes, perhaps it is. Uh, Slim, I suppose you didn't have any luck finding that distributor. No. I couldn't find one in the machine shop back in the sheds. And it's for salvaging one from the trucks. You'd need a basket. You may not think that convoy was important, but all convoys are important to China now. Convoys? What about the truck drivers? Tell me, Slim, do you think someone here took that? The distributor? What would anybody want with a the distributor? There are no pawn shops here. Someone might have a reason for wanting to keep us here. Well, it's a sense we can't move until that bridge gets fixed anyway. Well, the priest tells me it'll be repaired in the morning, in time for the important convoy to come through. Yeah. It'll be patched up in the morning, all right. I saw them coolies working out there in that rain, using lanterns. Nothing stops them babies. Nothing. What brought you to China? Slim, I asked what brought you to China. It ain't what brought me to China. It's what keeps me here. And what keeps you here? I like rice. You were brought up the hard way, weren't you? Bullied and beaten? Yeah, and I was robbed and cheated and kicked around, too, and it only made me tougher. It taught me a lesson. I can stand up and take it now. And what's more, I can give it back. Like China. Yeah. Yeah, like China. You know, I figure China's learning the same lesson. How to hit back at the big bullies. And how to hit back and hit back and keep on hitting back till the last one of them's dead. Them coolies working out there in that mud and rain. They're all blood brothers of mine. Every mother's son of them. Boy, that was some speech, huh? At least when I get back home, I run for Congress or something. It was wonderful, Sue. It makes China proud of you. Yeah. Well, it's getting kind of late. You better take a nap. I'm going to take a look around before I turn in.
What is it? You sleep like you've got nothing on your conscience. If you're my good man, I'm practically tired. What you want with that distributor set out there? I don't know if you babbling about. I see Holland in the yard in the darkness. I'm not impolite to speak of this, sir, Archie. But I'm crazy for money. Maybe you lend me some nice English pounds. Are you crazy? I'll find some silly blackmail again. Blackmail? It's a nasty word. Between two gentlemen like me and you. It's called a loan. Hey, look. This man's annoying me. You tell that fortune teller one more move. When I call Slim, and I sing right now. And my friend, when I sing, I'm better than Caruso. I don't know what you're talking about. I have nothing to hide, and I'm not falling for any silly blackmail game. When I get to Chunking, I'll have you arrested. Take tonight and think it over, Sir Roger. There's no hurry. I can't spend that money until I get to Chongqing, anyhow. Good night, Sir Archer. Nice dreams. I hope you have nightmares, Swamp. When the report came back from headquarters that you were also an agent, I was glad. Forgive me, my daughter, for my suspicion. Forgive me, father. I thought you were. You would. Suspect everyone, even me. Enemies take on strange faces. Even in your little group, there may be enemies. But as a passenger, we check carefully at Lasher. We shall know soon. The trap is set. Yes, father. If there is one among us, he heard... The coy will be here at dawn. If it is bombed, we shall know. And the real convoy? That follows when I flash the signal. My dispatch case. Someone stole my dispatch case. But, Sahib, it was chained. Well, someone cut the chain, you fool. You hadn't been so sound asleep. My Chris. My Chris, too. Fine body servant you are. Sahib, a thousand pounds. No, that won't get back my dispatch case. Where's that monk? I'll hold him partly responsible for this. I come, Sir Roger. What is wrong? There's a thief among us. My dispatch case has been stolen. And my Chris. My case contains valuable papers. I was carrying a message to the General Lessonmouth himself. I must be found. I demand that all luggage be searched. Because you can look through my stuff. Through mine, too. And Pete, where's that mechanic? Well, maybe he's in the bus. I'll have a look. My apologies, Sir Roger. I will search the monastery minutely. It must be found. Get up, Slim. You're wanted inside. It's all right, officer. I'll go peacefully. Come on, come on, get up. Hey, what's going on here, anyhow? I had a heck of a time getting to sleep with that walrus snoring in my ear, and now you wake me up. There's been a robbery, a serious one. What's the matter? Sir Rogers lost his dispatch case. Get that guy in there sleep. You see, Sir Roger, it's not fair. I'm sorry, Miss Dell. As a representative of my government, I have no choice. I understand. The thief might have been clever enough to hide a dispatch case in our luggage. Exactly. All right, what's wrong? Sorry to disturb your much-needed rest, gentlemen. 
But Sir Roger insisted. What's happened to the Duke's slave bracelet? That's just it, Slim. We don't know. There's something funny cooking around here. Money's gone, Mr. Zim, the case. Keep your mouth shut till we get to Chunking. I'll see you there. You are mistaken, my friend. For money, I'm gentleman. For nothing, I'm rat. Slim. I know who's still your distributor, and I know why. You do? Then why didn't you tell me before? Oh, because I'm just like actor. I, I like drama, and I wait just the right time. Well, this is just the right time. Who did it? Don't be in a hurry, Slim. You're a friend of mine, I'll tell you. Listen, this is no time to start playing those games with me. Come on, I'll spill it. Sure, I spill it. I'm like Niagara. All right, Hamlet, kick it around. Take it easy. Have fun with it. Tell me. Okay, my friend. I... Well, you can all keep quiet if you want to, but I won't. Somebody here is responsible for that killing. When we get shunting, the proper when? bodies will. You mean if. Why, well, you may be next, or Lucy, or any one of us. Now, well, Tom's right. We must do something. And Slim, what about him? Why hasn't he fixed that fuss? Why are we being detained here? Do you not alarm yourselves, my children. Time, the police, everything will be taken care of. Well, I don't like the smell of things in here. I'm going to get some fresh air. And I'm going with you. Breakfast. Mm. Oh, thank you. There's something about that monk. Find out something about Mark? No, he's praying. I pray too, sir. After I kill, I feel bad. So I pray. I pray and kill. Pray and kill.
Come, Helen. Chris has probably finished preparing breakfast by now. you want, Sir Roger? I've always been interested in builders. That's quite a collection of them at home. But I've never seen one before that moves. Now open it up. Roger. Take a look in that room. Well, I still don't understand. Pray the priest is very naughty. He's been exchanging love letters with the Japanese. I don't think he'll ever go to heaven. Oh, I can't believe it. Yes, I know exactly how you feel. I felt the same way when they told me the truth about Santa Claus. Hey, all of you down there. How about some breakfast? Come down here, Slim. What goes on? This man's a spy. There's a powerful shortwave radio in that room. This man's been contacting the enemy. That's the reason our convoys have been blown to pieces. Take a look in there. So you're the rat who was responsible for what happened last night? Make that plural, old boy. Rats. The lady rat helped him. Them truck drivers was my buddies, and now they're scattered all over the landscape. Slim, you don't know what you're doing. There's a convoy coming through any moment now. I'm going to see what I can do about warning them. You stay on guard, Slim. Come along, Helen. Boy, what a chump I am. I ought to get a blue ribbon and pin it on myself. I like you. I like the way you talked about things. China was me. That's what you told me. Baby, China's sure gonna be proud of you. Like heck she will. Slim, you're wrong about things. Please believe me. I wouldn't believe you on a stack of Buddhas. I wouldn't believe you if I was drunk and had been to sea for six months. I wouldn't believe you if... But you've got to believe me. We must make you see the truth before it's too late. That's not the real convoy. It's a decoy, a trap set to catch the real spies. If you set that song and dance to music, you can make a million dollars for yourself. What do you think? You're kidding. He himself said it was the important convoy. I heard him. But it was to set the trap. Someone notified the Japs, thinking it was a real convoy. Please have faith in me. Baby, I'm fresh out of faith today. You seem slim. He ought to be out there working on the bus. Take him into the kitchen. Well, what is this? I don't understand, Sir Roger. Your lack of understanding puzzles me, Miss Dell. It seems to me the point of that night is quite obvious. Get moving, please.
We are both working for the same government as you. No use, my daughter. Sir Roger has been very clever. Listen, you two. I might be a truck driver, but I'm no sap. Don't try to put it on Sir Roger now. Listen. That peculiar buzzing. Interference with the radio. What are you looking so surprised for? It's just the Duke shaving again. Slim, you've got it. Got what? Listen to it. Hey, have you two gone fatty? It's a message, all right. But it's in code. He couldn't be sending a message. Let's go upstairs before it's too late. I'm tired. Hurry, my son, hurry. Sir Roger. Slim, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to stay on guard. I was about to warn the convoy. Well, it seems to be a little difference of opinion, Sir Roger. She says you're the spy. I assure you I'm not going to let that girl influence you. We Americans are kind of funny, Sir Roger. We like to hear both sides of an argument before we decide which one we're going to take. For instance, that razor of yours. My razor? Never mind, Sir Roger. I'll get it. Just till I hear both sides of the argument, Sir Roger. Works for the battery, doesn't it? Oh, that's right. At home, I use a plug-in. Back country, China, no plug, so I had that made up with a battery in the handle. Quite ingenious, isn't it? I think I might put it on the market. Could anyone else have gotten at this? I couldn't tell. Leave it lying around. Shouldn't you, know? Somebody might steal the idea. Now, don't you think you'd better get her downstairs again, so we can inform the proper authorities? All right, Slim. To prove I'm telling the truth, I'm willing to give my life. There's a convoy coming through soon. He signaled the enemy planes to bomb us. Oh, don't be silly. I'm willing to ride in the first truck in the convoy. Ask him if he's willing to do so, too. How about it, Sir Roger? Like to go for a little ride? Certainly. I'm willing to take the chance if you are. We'll all go. Meet it down the road. Cuts out all the turns and twists on the road. Save us about eight miles.
Tommy, let me take your cab down to that bridge, will you? Oh, sit down. Put your gym up. Put your mood here. I go, huh? Thanks, pal.
some planes up there didn't drop any eggs on us. They were American planes. Then you mean you knew all the time we weren't going to be bombed? Yes, but he didn't. The Americans were in on the plan and turned the Japanese planes back. Oh, wait till I get my hands on that fortune teller. Fire now open. Rangoon is lost. Mandalay may be threatened. But there will always be a road into the heart of China. Hey, Adam, 